For over 130 years, Oklahoma City's public water system has provided a reliable water supply for its residents. Beginning with the Santa Fe train station well in 1899 and expanding into the hundreds of miles of pipeline that connect the vast multi-reservoir systems of today, despite enormous cost and effort, the city forefathers saw the importance of securing this basic but vital requirement of life. Water supply truly is one of our most precious but taken for granted resources. The prophet Jeremiah twice described the Lord as the fountain of living waters. Jesus says, if any man thirst to come unto him. Just as water is life-sustaining and refreshing in our physical lives, so too is a proper relationship and walk with God through the word for our spiritual lives. In order to be a tree that's planted by the rivers of water, a tree that will stand strong for the next generation, we must delight ourselves in the law of the Lord and meditate on it day and night. You think about your walk with the Lord, you have to think of the Bible. You know, that just being the beginning, the basis. And to have a close walk with God, you've got to have that close relationship with His Word. You have to be in the Word. You have to be letting it live out or manifest itself, the truth within it. Let's just focus on what the Bible says, the basics. Continue to work on the basics. All of these other things that are in this world could be really just classified as distractions. There's many things that we want to do, but we really don't need to do. After I got saved, you know, that new relationship with the Lord allowed me to start to realize that there's something more than just having fun in life. And I started to realize the meaning of real joy, what really brought happiness, what really brought satisfaction, what really gave me purpose. It, it wasn't the things that I did before that gave me purpose. It was now what I was finding in a relationship with Christ, a relationship with all that Christ is, starting to get to know Him there's gonna be some difficult days, um, some hard days. As Nahum 1.7 says, the Lord is good and a stronghold. If you take that word stronghold and if you break it down, you'll find this word fortress. The Lord is good and the day of trouble, he's a stronghold like a fortress and he knows them that trust in him. When I think of some of the struggles that the believers have, they're concerned about their reputation. What does man think about me? What does man say about me? When we focus on that, we can get distracted and way too concerned about what man thinks and not remembering what does God think about our real walk with Him. He discerns it, He knows. We can't fool Him. So sometimes we end up trying to be men pleasers if we get to be God pleasers. To a young person, your authority, your parents, your pastor wants you to do this, this, this because they love you. They want the best for you. But they also know that they don't want you just to do it for them. They want you to understand the why. And in the Word of God, God tells us what's best for us so that it's Him that you're hearing from. Eventually, Dad isn't going to be there. We want you to have that personal walk with Him so that you'll see the value that your Heavenly Father actually loves you way more than your earthly father does. And he wants to have that relationship with you. He wants you and I to keep on coming back to him. Even when we can't even say words, even when it hurts so bad, he wants us to keep on coming back to him. And he'll incline his ear unto us. And that's available to each and every one of us by having a close walk with God. The next generation of students will know what mean these stones.